so they do come up against it but then they they tend to fall off and then this will just direct the bomb right on down up against them and and kill them so it actually works surprisingly well Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, this is my first uh, video that I'm recording uh, since I've returned from my trip. I have got a really bad cold. I don't think it's COVID. I am going to get tested again on Monday just to make sure. But, yeah, I'm, uh, <coughs> I'm in bad shape uh, with that. So, anyway, um, I wasn't going to bring you back yet. You can see it's um, almost 3 o'clock in the morning, but I've been mining. And a screamer came in, and apparently in Alpha 20, screamers no longer need to visually, you know, get a visual on you before they can call in a horde. So she just called in a horde, and so, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to run back over here and see if we can deal with these guys with, um, you know, through our fence. And uh, hopefully we can do that. My goodness. This is the first screamer I've had at the base, but I have been, I have been running a lot of stuff though too. So, woo look at that. Okay, so quick, 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 quick. Let's put our explosives to work here. Fortunately, everything works through the through the bar, so that makes makes it easy enough to deal with them. Oh, it sounds like we have some bad guys over here, too. Let's get them blown up. Let's hop up here. Get the bomb right down on top of them. Looks like we have, still have a couple. All right, I guess that's it. Wow, that was nuts, man. Yeah, I didn't know the screamers could call in a horde without seeing you now, but apparently they can, so yeah, there you go. All right, let's see what they got us here. We'll put our luckies on. Yeah, another steel axe. And a steel shovel. Ooh, and more night vision goggles, too. Nice. Let's run around the corner here and see what uh, dropped over here, and then we'll have to do some repairing. So anyway, yeah, I'm just down mining, getting some more um, stuff. Materials, sorry. And uh, I heard that screamer come in. So yeah, it used to be an alpha... Um, well, before Alpha 20, it used to be that they wouldn't actually scream unless they saw you visually, but apparently that is no longer the case. Uh, all right, so that's going to need iron. We're going to need iron and concrete probably to repair everything that's out here. But I've been running my, my forges like crazy and my, you know, campfire, so it was only a matter, and my camp bench, so it's only a matter of time before they... Uh, you know, we're going to come in. Sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained. On, my head's all fuzzy. And uh, so bear with me. Bear with me. Let's put the steel in there. We're going to grab the iron out of there and the concrete out of here. And let's go get everything repaired. That one they did a little bit of a number on. Oh, I guess we're going to need cobble, too. I'll eventually get everything upgraded to concrete. Just haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, let's see. Where was that one at? Here we go. A little bit on the ground here. That's just splash damage from the, uh, from the pipe bombs that I threw. Yeah, it looks okay. So let's see, it's day 32, and um, I'd like to get started on the the, uh, the explosive horde base. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I, um, 
uh, I put another point into Demolitions Expert. So let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, that's in Perception Tree. Yeah, so we're level two. Uh, so basically, increased damage by 20% and 100% um, chance to stun enemies, 10% greater chance to dismember, and so on and so forth. So uh, Explosives Handler is the one that will actually let us start to make grenades too. But I don't know, I'm thinking... I'm just, I'm wondering about if I should do that. I mean, I could, right? But if we just get Demolitions Expert eventually to level 5, the pipe bombs are, are going to do plenty of damage. And we might be able to just use those and just make a bunch of them because they're so cheap to make. Uh, as opposed to grenades, which will, of course, do more damage, but they're a lot more expensive to make, too. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Once I get salvage operations all the way up, though, too, you know, then we'll get mechanical parts and springs, which are two of the ingredients that you need for grenades, uh, in quantity too, so then it probably won't be a big deal to just do grenades at that point. We'll see how things go, though. Alright, anyway, where are we at with all this stuff? Let's put those two things in there. Get them going. And, see, I got about 2,000 more stone. We got a pretty good uh, supply of concrete. Um, I mean, I've got, what do we got here? Like four, um, over, you know, over four and a half stacks there. Well, well, we got all this too. Yeah. So that's probably enough. I'm thinking to build the next part of the base, but we're going to keep making it anyways, because of course we need it. Um, and I've got a lot of cement that I've made it made up too. So, yeah, in fact, let's do this. Let's grab that cement. A couple of them actually. And um, we'll cut that in half. Get some more concrete mix made up there and some more made up there. Okay, so yeah, let's see here. What do, what do I have to update you guys on? Um, so first of all, I um, you know, keeping uh, remembering that all the episodes that you've seen up to the last episode were pre-recorded. And I hadn't seen your guys' comments, uh, but several of you pointed out to me in the comments that the way that the the traders work now is that you, um, it's kind of weird, but the way that it works is, you know, I started with Trader Joel, right? So when I get Trader Joel all the way up to tier four and then eventually tier five, every Trader Joel on the map will be the same. So it's not based upon the biome you're in, uh, but it's based upon the actual trader. Um, so yeah, any trader Joel that I run into will be tier four because that's as far as I got with him. So now what we're doing is we're working with trader wrecked because he's the one that's closest to us to get him up. Um, and we'll probably work trader Hugh too, because trader Hugh is also in the wasteland, um, and work on getting him up too. And eventually, and see, we've got to do trader Jin too eventually, but trader Jin's the least important of the three, just because of, you know, her location at this point. And, uh, so yeah, that's how that works. Also, um, you guys reminded me in the comps, and I completely spaced this one off, that I can make pockets. Um, I can make the single pocket mods. It didn't even occur to me until you guys mentioned it. So uh, let's do that, and that will get uh, get us a couple more slots opened up. So we can do one for here, two, and three. Yeah, so let's make three pocket mods. All right, so we're going to need duct tape. We're going to need leather, sewing kits. Uh, what else did it say we needed? Leather, duct tape, oh, and cloth fragments. Alright, so let's get three of those made, and that'll open up three more slots for us, which will be great. Alright, what are you doing? You're still cooking stone for me. Alright, let's get some more cement going in here. And I've just been busy smelting stuff down into to the first forge here. Uh, we don't actually have a bellows. Uh, so we need to be on the lookout for that, unless I can make one. Can I make one of those? Let's take a look. Uh, nope, it's locked, so, yeah. Okay, so, good. We got that done. Now, uh, what do I want to do? It is almost 5 o'clock in the morning. Why don't we... I, I want to get the, the rest of the house repaired, so we got that to do. I don't know, I'll probably just do that off camera, though, because it's really just going to be patching, you know, up these holes up here. And, um... 
what what I would what I definitely will do is when we decorate the house, you know, get the paint and stuff and make it look really cool. That we'll do in an episode or two. But for the for just repairing this, I think I'm I'm gonna save that for an off camera kind of thing. So why don't we go ahead and go out to the horde base and start taking a look at getting the explosive part of that base <coughs> set up. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, getting the, the explosive part of that base set up. Okay, so let's put these pocket mods in here. Good. Okay, so that frees up some more slots. Uh, we'll put all this stuff back in here. Yeah, I was thinking... Um, for some reason in my brain, I was thinking I, need, I needed a schematic for that. But you need the schematic for the double pocket mods, not for the singles. Uh, we don't need two of these, so we should sell one of them. I guess we can sell this one, so we'll put that in the, the vendor crate uh, for now. And uh, let's put this ammo back in here. Now, you're making... Yeah, you're making gunpowder, so I think I'm going to take this thousand gunpowder... And let's make, uh, let's take these pipes and grass and get a bunch more pipe bombs made because we will be using pipe bombs on the next horde night. All right, so let's make a shit ton of those. Put that back in there. Forge products. Okay, so we need a um, steel shovel. Hold on a sec. I forgot I got all this stuff from the from the dudes. Okay, so we're gonna fix that up and sell it. And this uh probably isn't even worth fixing up and selling at all. I think we're just gonna scrap that. We'll get some steel tool parts that we can make something better later on if we want to. Steel tool parts or tool parts in general go in here. That's taken care of. Okay, so we're gonna need some re uh, a few more repair kits. So let's grab I don't know, a few more duct tapes and some more forged iron, which I guess we have on us already. I should probably get you going on some more forged iron. Uh, so let's do that. This is done in a couple seconds. We'll throw the iron back in there and let that make some more forged iron for us. Okay, I'm going to grab those. Let's grab a whole bunch of concrete. We'll grab some cobble too. I don't think we'll need it, but we'll grab it anyway. And how are we doing on wood? Uh, that's gonna actually... Where is my wood? I have no wood on me. Oh yeah, I do. Never mind. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. We got 744. That's not a lot, but it should be enough for us to do what we need to do for now. And I'm trying to think, what else do we need to take out there? I guess that's it for the moment. I guess that's it for the moment. So let's grab some of this. I'm going to put this and this in there. We'll keep the coffee in here. But we'll take a full thing of red tea and a stack of boiled meat. We'll eat one of those right now. <laughs> Got a little extra gunpowder left over, so we'll just throw that in there. I got more more plans uh, for outside of the house here too. Um, so yeah, more more stuff coming up for sure with the house. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to get the horde base ready for horde 35, and then you know the rest of the time that we have between now and then we'll just keep questing for wrecked. All righty. So first thing I'm gonna do. Um, actually, no, that's not going to work, is it? See, I would, I had originally planned on putting some hatches down to get across. You know what, though? Can we, let's look at something here. Will it let me put these on top of the plate? Yeah, it will. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Perfect. So this one we want to turn that way. Good. And when those are opened... Oh, uh, you know what, though? 
Uh, yeah, see, it's not gonna let me. It's not gonna let me put him down. But that doesn't matter because I mean, even if they're up like this, the zombies are not gonna see it as a path when they're open like that. So that should still work. Ooh, we got a mountain lion around here. Let's just let it pat back again. Where'd, where did the mountain line go? It jumped off over that way. There it is. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, a little more meat for the table tonight. Where's Larry at? Larry, get over here. I don't think that killed him. We'll go. We'll go take him out. Come here, Larry. All right. Um, one of you guys told me in the comments too that I need to put uh, hatches on the on the roof of my tunnel here because there's still a two block area that they could jump over. But that's actually. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because we already have those bars coming down. Now that I think about it. Yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's not going to work because, you know, this we have these bars up here that are technically pointing downwards. So there isn't another block up there. <laughs> I guess what I could do if we actually got into trouble, which I seriously doubt would ever happen is we could, you know, we could do something like this. And the whole point of these hatches really is just to buy me a couple of seconds so I can jump out to the other side anyway. So it's not like it has to be anything super elaborate, but yeah, that's probably what we'll end up having to do with that. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started with this next part of the base. So now the plan for this side is we're going to build, we're going to dig another pit, but we're not going to have an escape ramp or a little pathway on this side. I want them to fall into the pit and stay in the pit until I blow them up. That's the plan for this one. All right. So now what I think or how I think we're going to do that is... Um, if we're over on this side and those are up, the only pathway the zombies sense to us is here. So if we create another tunnel exactly like that on this side, uh, well, I don't know though. Do we really need to do that? <laughs> I know what I want to do generally speaking, but I haven't worked out the actual details of it. We probably do want to do that just, you know, because the nice thing about this little cage here is we're protected, right? Uh, we're not protected from cops spitting straight through, but we are protected uh, on all sides and everything like that. So I think we will. I think we will just build this same exact configuration, but on this side. Um, And just have a pit that doesn't have a ramp. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. All right, well, I'm going to give this some thought, and as usual, I will bring you guys back with updates as this starts to come together. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back with an update here. Uh, I've got the, the pit completely dug out, and uh, so our next thing we're going to do is get started with lining it. Uh, so, basically, we've got a, a, a shallower pit here that my chamber that I'm going to stand in will be um, over, and I'm probably going to make a pathway for the zombos to get out of this shallower pit if they fall down here because I don't want them to stay down here banging on stuff. And then we're going to have a deeper, a little bit deeper pit here. It's three more blocks down and this will be the explosion pit. And this pit's going to be five blocks, um, uh, have, have a basically a five block area, right? Um, because that's the area that the grenades will cover uh, in terms of explosions. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. What I'm going to do now is like I said, get, uh, start getting it lined, uh, with all the blocks here. And then, you know, once I get that part done, I'll bring you guys back and we will, um, 
build the upper part. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit with another update. All right, guys, we are back. And as you can see, I've got the pit completely done and lined and upgraded and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to basically build almost an identical um, enclosure on this side of the pit. So let's start by uh, changing this to a plate and copy rotation. And we'll put that one there. And then what we're going to do is uh, do the same thing here. So we'll go copy rotation and we want to come to over. So we got that one there. And then one there, there, and there on this side. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Uh, so let's do a copy rotation here. Yeah, it's really, really just a, um, like I said, a, a mirror of the same thing, but just on this side here. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to get... Um, this block in place doesn't seem to want to let me actually put it there, though. It's really weird. You'd think I'd be able to just attach that right to there, but it's not behaving. So what we're going to do is let's turn these back into uh, normal shapes. And what we're going to do here is okay. Um, yeah, may, I don't know. Maybe it won't let me do it that way where I can just put a frame shape directly over that one. Uh, if we copy that rotation. Yeah, it's letting me do it now, but it's probably it might be because there's a block there. I don't know. All right, I need to make a couple more normal blocks here. There we go. Okay, put that guy there. And I think once we get the first one in place, then the rest uh, we should be able to just build out without any any problems. Um, let's see, we want, yeah, I think we want to copy this rotation. Well, we need to do that. Copy that rotation and then put that right there. There we go. Okay. Now that should all just stay up there. Moving forward. No problem there. Uh, we do need to put um, another block there, however. We'll just turn it. Um, it needs to be the same as this one. Yeah. Okay, copy that rotation. There we go. <coughs> okay. Very good, very good. Now, one thing I am going to do, though, with this is I want this corridor to be six, a total of six blocks long, just like that one is. Um, so it's going to have to span out over the rampway here, which I don't think will be a problem. Yeah, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's get these back and then uh, copy rotation. And we just put those in there like so. Um, I might leave, excuse me, I might leave that one there just for extra support on that side. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to leave it wood uh, for now until I can get it to... Uh, until I can figure out if that's uh, going to work okay. 
Well, it looks like I'm out of cobble too, so I'm gonna have to make some more cobble. Um, I guess I upgraded that one now too, didn't I? All right, that's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, so now what we should be able to do is, um, we're gonna need five more normals. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, as long as it doesn't turn pink when I'm trying to put it down, it should be fine. Okay, copy rotation here. Whoops. And then copy rotation. Oh, those are already in place, right, okay. Copy rotation here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's six. Good. Okay, so that's all in place. Let's get it upgraded. Well, upgraded to wood anyway. Alright, that doesn't go there. Now, let's go ahead and put in these guys. Uh, so we want you to turn that way and you to turn that way and then let's get these upgraded all right it's nighttime let's see if anything's going to come after us no i think we're okay for the moment i did get rushed by a wandering horde earlier but it wasn't anything i couldn't handle All right, very good. Now, the uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build up the uh, the walls. Actually, no, let's not do the walls yet. Let's do this ne the next part. This is gonna be the, this next part we're gonna do is gonna be the kind of the essence of this base. So, the first thing I'll tell you is that I got this idea from game Games for Kicks, so it's not my own idea. Um, but it worked so well when I saw him do it that I, I'm, I said, you know what, I need to do that too, because that's going to really be cool. Um, so yeah, this isn't my idea, but um, it should work great. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, let's take about half of those, I guess. Don't even need that many, actually. Yeah, let's take about 10 of them. And we want to turn these into these... Um, uh, what are they? These little pillar things here, these uh, 0 0.025 meter pillars. Uh, when I saw him do this, he actually used the, the 0.05 ones, but I'm going to use the smaller ones because I think they'll work just as well. We'll, we'll have to test it though. Uh, okay, so what I want to do now is do an advanced rotation. Okay, then so we're going to put three of these here like so now what we're gonna do is put three more here um yeah just like that okay then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these guys and we're gonna put a little wall up here just too high is all we need okay good all right now on this side oops I think I need two more of those right yeah accidentally changed back to the other one uh, so let's go back to here again and do advanced rotation. And we're going to put one of those there and one of those there. All right. So what happens is <coughs> the AI, if you haven't seen this, the AI, the AI will see this as a pathway to me and think it can jump across here. But as soon as it tries to jump across there, then it falls down into the pit. 
And then I've got a three, uh, a block deep pit here that they they can't get out of. Um, it, you know, if we get a bunch of them down there and they have a chance to climb up on each other's shoulders, a couple of them might escape. But then I've got this um, ramp, you know, for them to, to just cycle back around. So what I would like to do now, I'd like to test this. So I guess, but I need more cobblestone. So what are we short on? We got some clay. I don't have any stone on us. All right, you know what? I'm going to run back to the base and get some more stone to make some more cobblestone. And I'll bring you guys back in a little bit and we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm back and I went ahead and just finished building out the, uh, the cage for us. I did, I did this a little bit differently. I sacrificed one of the bars up above in order to put a plate here to protect from cops that would be spitting through here because we did take a little bit of damage on our other uh, loot box. Uh, but the only thing that would be damaging that is a vulture and um, one even one set of bars should be plenty uh, to deal with that. Okay, so yeah, then the last thing that remains here really is to just test it and see if, if they path the way that I hope they will. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put some doors in here too. And the purpose of those doors is, you know, let's say that we want to switch to the other side because it's collapsing or we just want to get some melee or whatever. Um, you know, those doors will, will buy us a couple of moments just long enough for us to go over here, flip those down, get inside and then over onto this side and vice versa. Um, so that's really what the purpose of the, of that door is, or, or those doors rather. All right, uh, let's get these upgraded. Okay, I don't know if the zombies will attack these because they are doors. Uh, I, I don't think they will as long as these are up because there's just there's no there's no path to us. Uh, we'll see them. See how that works. All right, now uh, what we want to do is find some Zekers and test this out and see if we can get it to work right. Okay, that should break the path there. So we should walk around here. Um, what are you doing, dummy? Yeah, come around here. Where'd he go? Larry, what are you doing? Hmm. Has this been patched since, uh... Let's lift that up. Does he not know I'm here? What are you doing, dummy? It's not down in the bit the pet he can't get out of. Oh, he's down there. Okay. Alright, come on up the ramp. Huh. I don't this okay, this is uh <coughs> this is a little concerning. Maybe this isn't going to work so well. All right, let's go back over onto this side. Okay, so he's coming that way. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is going to work. All right, we got a Larry here. Let's bring him back to the base and see what happens. I upgraded to the larger dowels, and I just upgraded them to the second tier of wood uh, because I want to make sure they're going to actually work before I fully upgrade them. You still coming, Larry? All right, let's get over here those up okay 
So let's see if he'll path over here now. Nope. Well, is he? No, I don't. He doesn't see it as a path. See, now he's stuck all the way down in there. And he's not going to be able to get back out. Okay. All right. Well, I'm under the impression that this isn't going to work then. Um, that kind of sucks. I wonder if the fun pimp saw uh, Games for Kicks doing this and patched it. I, I'm not sure if there's been a patch on the game. I've been gone for the last week um, on work, so... Ah, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, well, if that's the situation, that's the situation. So I guess we're going to just go back to our our quarter poles, you know, or not our quarter poles, but our this same setup over here, which means then that the Zombos, um, you know, some of them are going to get up to us and we'll have to incorporate a little bit of melee into our design as well as everything else. But if that's what it, we got to do, that's what we got to do. Um, I'm just not sure what else would work here. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I did a little, did a little bit of testing off camera and I came up with something that actually works. Um, first of all, as you can see, I've got the, uh, you know, the little, uh, dowel thingies back on there and they do work. Um, I did test it with some zombies to make sure they would path. But, um, the problem I was running into then is that a lot of my throws were um, getting like way up against the wall down there, and if and all the zombies are up against this other wall because it's right where I am, and so I got to thinking, well, is there something I can maybe put out there to um, help, you know, direct the bombs more down into the center of the pit? It's not going to matter as much with grenades because grenades have a, a better explosion radius, but it does matter more with the pipes. So. Um, Long story short, I played around with a couple of ideas, and then I and then I got to think, hmm, what would happen if I put an arrow slit in there? Would they still path to me? And sure enough, they do. And the arrow slit also seems to push them off, um, push them off the bars too, um, so they don't just stand there and hit on it so much. And even if they did, you know, I can I can just shoot through that if I if I had to. So, yeah, it seems to work pretty good. Let's just do a quick test here just so you guys can see that this does indeed work pretty well. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go into uh, debug menu, and we're just going to bring in a few. Um, let's just bring in an Arlene and a biker and a bow and a bird and a business and a darling. Okay. And then... So what? So they do come up against it, but then they they tend to fall off, and then this will just direct the bomb right on down up against them and and kill them. So it actually works surprisingly well, uh, better than I thought it would. And then I just you know have to keep this upgraded. Um, I'm gonna keep these here just in case this did happen to break, you know, as a fallback. But um, yeah, it seems to work really good. And then it just like I said directs the bombs right down to the to the front there and takes them out that was probably in fact that was the biker based upon the xp I mean, he's a little tougher so one pipe bomb's not going to kill him oh speaking of which uh, we also have three points available from all this building that i've been doing um so let's just keep pumping perception we're going to go up to five and that's going to get us demolitions expert three which means we can now make grenades and we do a 30 percent increase in damage um, a 33% chance to cripple enemies and a 20% greater chance to dismember. Uh, so that's going to, that's going to help too. Cause I'll, you know, because this is kind of, kind of be our bread and butter when it comes to XP on Horden. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm my, it's my intention to take this all the way to the top, uh, which means unless we want to wear perception glasses, which we ultimately don't, we're going to have to literally get perception all the way to 10. Um, so that's, that's just what we're going to have to do, you know, for maximum effectiveness 
So yeah, I, I think this is the, our solution and it should work pretty good. Plus it gives me a little more protection from cop spit coming that way too. So that's an added bonus as well. All right, you guys. Well, I think that's it for this episode. Uh, it is almost nighttime on day 34. So I'm probably just going to go back to the base uh, and, you know, do some stuff overnight, do some mining, uh, maybe get that upper floor all fixed up. And then tomorrow, we basically have the entire day uh, tomorrow uh, to do some questing because our horde base is ready to go. There's nothing else I need to do here on the horde base um, for, yeah, for tomorrow. So it should be good. I got it. Oh, we got a bag. You know what? Whatever's in this bag, I'm not going to take it because I, I cheated those zombos in. So let's just drop that stuff there and get this uh, patched up. And yeah, so I'll bring you back tomorrow morning in the next episode and we will continue working for Trader Rekt. We should be on, on tier two quest for him now. Um, I also should look for um, Adam and Junkie candies now too, because that's also going to boost our explosion damage on Horde Knight as well. All right, you guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.